Hi Meducate Hub fam. Take a deep breath in. Now breathe out. Feel the air filling your lungs, expanding your chest and then gently flowing out. This simple act is something we do thousands of times a day without even thinking about it. Feel that? That's your lungs working, tirelessly taking in oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide. This exchange is crucial for our survival, providing the oxygen our cells need to function and removing waste gases from our body. Every single cell in your body needs oxygen to survive. Oxygen is carried from your lungs to your cells by your bloodstream, fueling the processes that keep you alive and active. Without it, we wouldn't last very long. Just a few minutes without oxygen can cause serious damage to our organs, highlighting the critical role our lungs play in our overall health. That's why our lungs are so important. They are not just organs, they are life-sustaining powerhouses that ensure we get the oxygen we need. They are the vital organs that make breathing and therefore life possible. The lungs work in harmony with the heart and blood vessels to keep our bodies running smoothly. But have you ever wondered how these amazing organs develop? The journey of lung development is a marvel of nature, starting from the earliest stages of life. It's a fascinating journey that begins even before we are born. From the moment of conception, our lungs start to form, preparing us for the moment we take our first breath. From a tiny bud in the womb to the complex network of airways in our chest. Lung development is a carefully orchestrated process with several distinct stages. Each stage is crucial, laying the foundation for the next, ensuring that by the time we are born, our lungs are ready to take on the vital task of breathing. Imagine a tiny seed growing into a mighty tree. That's a bit like how our lungs develop. It all starts with a small group of cells that transform and multiply, eventually becoming the intricate respiratory system we rely on every second of every day. This incredible transformation happens in five main stages. Embryonic, pseudoglandular, canalicular, saccular and alveolar. Each stage is crucial laying the groundwork for the next and ultimately determining the health and efficiency of our lungs. Understanding these stages can help us appreciate the complexity of our respiratory system and highlight the importance of protecting our lungs throughout our lives. Our journey begins just a few weeks after conception, during the embryonic stage. At this point, the fetus is tiny and its lungs are merely a bud-like structure. But don't underestimate this tiny bud. It's here that the very foundation of the respiratory system is laid. This bud divides and branches out, forming the trachea, which will eventually carry air to and from the lungs. The main bronchi, the two large tubes that lead to the left and right lungs, also begin to develop during this stage. It's a period of rapid growth and differentiation, setting the stage for the complex structures that will follow. As the embryo transitions into the fetal stage, lung development enters the pseudoglandular stage, which lasts from about week 5 to week 17. This stage is characterized by extensive branching. Imagine a tree sprouting countless branches, and you'll get the idea. The bronchi continue to divide and subdivide, forming smaller and smaller airways called bronchioles. This intricate network of airways is crucial for ensuring that air can reach every part of the lungs. During this stage, specialized cells also begin to emerge, including those that will produce mucus to protect the airways and those that will play a role in immune defense. Section 5. Stage 3. Canalicular. Making room for air. The canalicular stage, spanning from week 16 to 26, is marked by significant changes in the structure of the developing lungs. The bronchioles continue to branch, but more importantly, they become wider and more defined, forming distinct air passages or canals. This is where the name canalicular comes from. These canals are essential for creating space within the lungs, preparing them to eventually hold air. Blood vessels also begin to develop in close proximity to the airways, setting the stage for gas exchange, the process of taking in oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide. Section 6, Stage 4, Saccular, Preparing for Gas Exchange. From week 24 to around week 36, the lungs enter the saccular stage. The name comes from the development of tiny air sacs called saccules at the ends of the bronchioles. These saccules are crucial 
Because they are the precursors to alveoli, the tiny air sacs where gas exchange actually takes place. During this stage, the lungs also begin to produce surfactant, a vital substance that helps keep the alveoli open. Surfactant reduces surface tension within the alveoli, preventing them from collapsing and making it easier for the lungs to inflate with air. Section 7. Stage 5. Alveolar. The final frontier. This is the stage where the lungs reach their final form, preparing the body for a lifetime of breathing. The final stage of lung development, the alveolar stage, begins around week 36 of gestation and continues well into childhood, sometimes even into adolescence. This stage is critical as it sets the foundation for the respiratory system's efficiency and capacity. During this stage, the saccules, which are small air sacs, mature into fully functional alveoli. These alveoli are the tiny balloon-like structures that are essential for breathing. The number of alveoli increases dramatically from about 20 million at birth to approximately 300 million by the age of 8. This exponential increase creates a vast surface area for gas exchange, which is vital for efficient respiration. As the alveoli develop, their walls become thinner, allowing for easier gas exchange. Simultaneously, capillaries, the smallest blood vessels in the body, grow in close proximity to the alveoli, forming a dense network. This close relationship between the alveoli and capillaries is crucial for efficient gas exchange. Oxygen diffuses from the alveoli into the bloodstream, while carbon dioxide moves from the blood into the lungs to be exhaled. This process is essential for maintaining the body's oxygen levels and removing waste gases. The efficiency of this system is a testament to the intricate design and development of the human respiratory system, highlighting the importance of the alveolar stage in overall lung function and health. Section 8. From fetus to adult. Lungs on the grow. The journey of our lungs begins in the womb, where they start to form and develop intricate structures essential for breathing. Even though the basic structure of the lungs is complete by birth, they continue to grow and develop throughout childhood. This ongoing development is crucial for adapting to the increasing physical demands as the child grows. The number of alveoli, the tiny air sacs where gas exchange occurs, continues to increase, reaching its peak somewhere between the ages of 3 and 8 years old. These alveoli are vital for efficient oxygen exchange, allowing the body to function optimally. The lungs also increase in size as the child grows, with the airways becoming wider and longer. This expansion is necessary to accommodate the higher volumes of air required for the body's metabolic needs. This continued growth and development are essential to meet the increasing oxygen demands of a growing child. Active play and physical activities further stimulate lung development, enhancing their capacity and efficiency. As we age, our lungs naturally begin to lose some of their elasticity and the alveoli may become slightly larger. This change can affect the efficiency of gas exchange, making it a bit harder to breathe deeply. However, with proper care, our lungs can continue to function efficiently well into our senior years. Regular exercise, a healthy diet and avoiding pollutants like cigarette smoke can help maintain lung health. By taking these steps, we can ensure that our lungs remain strong and capable, supporting us through all stages of life. Section 9. Fun Facts – The Wonders of Your Lungs Now that we've explored the incredible journey of lung development, let's delve into some fascinating trivia about these vital organs. Did you know that the surface area of an adult's lungs is roughly the same size as a tennis court? That's because of all those tiny alveoli packed into them. And here's another one. We take around 12 to 20 breaths per minute without even thinking about it. That's over 17,000 breaths a day. Our lungs are constantly working, ensuring our bodies have the oxygen they need to function. Section 10. Conclusion, a vital organ for life. From the moment we take our first breath into this world to our very last, our lungs play a vital role in keeping us alive and well. Their development is a marvel of nature, a carefully orchestrated process that begins before we're even born and continues throughout our entire lives. 
Understanding the stages of lung development and the importance of these amazing organs can help us appreciate the precious gift of breath and inspire us to protect our respiratory health every single day. Don't forget to subscribe our Meducate Hub channel and like, share and comment. Stay safe and stay healthy.